famous people were involved? Well, Sam Houston, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana was famous also. Alexandrino, which was fought at this historic site on April 21st, 1836, was the final battle in the Texas Revolution. The main thing was uh, the discord with the uh, uh, colonists. The colonists had been told one thing and then they turned around and did something else. Santa Ana had taken over as a dictator. In the face of desertions, mutiny, and sharp criticism from soldiers eager to avenge massacres at the Alamo and Goliad, Houston continued to fall back, crossing the Colorado Brazos Rivers with Santa Ana in close pursuit. You soon learn that Santa Ana, with fewer than 1,000 soldiers, was at New Washington, well ahead of his three principal support columns. The, the opportunity Houston had been waiting for had arrived. The battle began at about 4 p.m. on April 21, 1836 when Houston ordered march on the Mexican position. The actual battle lasted only about 18 minutes, with some 630 Mexican soldiers being killed and 730 taken prisoner. Only nine Texans were killed or mortally wounded. Did you know all that's made out of Santana's saddle? And it's silver and they engraved San Jacinto battle on it. Texans had the Kentucky Rifles as well as uh, they, they had uh, knives and they had uh, some pistols, you know, you know just one-shot pistols, uh, they had tomahawks, <laughs> sticks, anything like that. <laughs> oh, well it changed world order. States, which eventually, of course, acquired Texas, you know, uh, to be uh, about a third more as large than it was. Now, what's the monument made of? The actual monument, what is it made of? It's made principally of, uh, you know, concrete and steel. Oh, okay. And then we see there's like shells that were kind of engraved. Oh, yeah. Is that what it's like? Uh, it's fossilized limestone uh, quarried out of uh, Burnett County near Austin, Texas. And is there any particular reason why it was built the way it was? It was patterned after the Washington Monument. Oh. After the Washington Monument. And of course the Lone Star on top of it you know, represents the only, only state to have ever been its own nation. Uh, what did you guys think about the monument? The shells in the wall are cool. And then it's so. Then um, when you stand in the front and look at the monument, it's like it's falling. Well, yeah, it, it does look like that. <laughs> there was it was very rich in history as well. There's a lot. We learned a lot about the um, about Mexico and Texas and about the war. And um, Bob and, and was Bob, so smart. Yeah, he was he very helped smart. us so much. Yeah. Texas is the only state that was ever its own country. Bob. Yeah. We're, so our group was wondering, why do we always say remember the Alamo if the Battle of San Jacinto is the thing that won us our independence? The Battle of San Jacinto and the San Jacinto Monument don't get the same attention that the Alamo did. As a group, we were wondering why that is. And, you know, there's just no real good reason why. One of the facts is that the, there weren't as many people at the Battle of San Jacinto as there were at the Alamo. And um, another thing is, if you're in a war, you're going to remember the times you lost. That's just, I guess, something that will remain a mystery. Um, that you can figure out for yourself and what you think about it. <laughs>